I am Professor N. B. Gulle from G. H. Rai Suni Institute of Engineering and Technology. And uh, in this video, we will try to understand the concept of the double stub matching and how to do the calculation using Smith chart for the double stub matching. Now, some of the disadvantages are there for the single stub matching. That is nothing but uh, the location of the single stub. Uh, it is inconvenient in some cases. Uh, for the implementation it may be in between at uh, some odd location that's why it is difficult in such cases we will prefer the double sub matching in case of the double sub matching this distance is nothing but uh, the location of this is first of always and the location of the first step from the load and uh, the distance between the two steps that is important and uh, while calculating the distance between the two steps always we are taking the step number two as a reference because at this step number two we have the load uh, admittance as one plus jb something that's why this portion of the transmission line remains matched and that is this portion of the transmission line remains unmatched that's why the reference is always the stub number two in this particular examples. Now here in case uh, this is uh, I will start with uh, one actual example here. In this case a transmission line is terminated by this load admittance. Here I have taken the load admittance to avoid the conversion of the load impedance to the load admittance. This is 0.4 and its acceptance is 1.2. No, and uh, spacing between the two steps is lambda by 4. This is some tricky and uh, the first stub is located at the load itself. In this case, the two circles are important. That is one circle is, uh, that is nothing but R is equal to one circle where the stub number one is going to lie. The other is the circle number two where the stub number two is going to lie. In this case, what is the distance between the two stubs? In this case, distance between the two stubs is lambda by four, right? Now here, as far as this transmission line is concerned, this is the load. If I am going for uh, some other color, now here is the stub number one connected and maybe if I am going for the other here, maybe the stub number two is connected, right? Here, this is the stub number two. The stub number two will lie on this particular circle or will be plotted on this particular circle and the stub number one will be available on this particular circle depending on the given values of the impedance or admittance. This distance is given to us. This distance is given to us and that distance is lambda by 4. This distance between the two steps is lambda by 4. Always this circle is the reference. This circle is the reference or location of this step 2 is the reference. To find out the location of this step number 1, this step, we are traveling towards the load. The location of this step number 1 is taken from the reference stub which is stub number 2 and this distance is a lambda by 4 means we are traveling towards from this particular point we are traveling towards the load that is nothing but in anti-clockwise direction this distance is the lambda by 4 which is the stub number 2 that's it sometimes it may be a lambda by 4 3 lambda by 8 and so on now here is the plotting of the admittance find out the values related to the stub number uh, one calculations we have to extend this particular point on this circle where we are going to plot the stub number one and just read out its coordinates we are not changing the real part we are changing only the imaginary part I means something like this given admittance is 0.4 minus a 1.2 if we are plotting on the circle number two that is and that is we are calculating the length of this stub number two we are finding its values real part is the same here this is 0.4 and this is 0.4 changing is the imaginary part because we are traveling along this uh, r circle in this case this is the value of this acceptance after connecting this stub and this is before connecting this stub if we are taking its difference that will be the value of the susceptance of this stub number one in this particular case this it is something like this if i'm going to this calculation the susceptance of the line after inserting the stub one is 0.49 which is this right and then so susceptance of the stub one will be this final value minus the initial value what is the final value that is minus j.49 minus initial value is uh, that is uh, minus j1.2 and its total susceptance will be 0.71 this is the susceptance of the stub number one the 0.71 plus that's why i have to search for the upper half portion of the smith chart 
if I'm going there, here this is 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.718, it is somewhere here, this value somewhere here and this because in case of the admittances this is the open circuit end and this will be the short circuit end and again we are traveling towards the generator because here in case of the transmission line here this is we are planning for the sub number one which is something like this this is the sub number one we are calculating the length of this stuff that's why we are traveling in this direction that is we are traveling toward the generator means from the short circuit point if we are traveling to that point 71 point we will get the length of this stub number one which is uh, here i have marked this value as a 0.71 and if we are traveling from the short circuit and in the clockwise direction again because we are traveling towards the generator if we are finding its value it's uh, if we are finding this value this value is coming to be that is 0.25 plus 0.98 that is 0.348 lambda this distance 0.348 lambda there are many ways of the calculations are there because here here this value it is 0.25 because total one full circle rotation is nothing but 0.5 means this value is half of that that is 0.25 and here if i am reading its coordinate here in this particular case those values are 0 0.098 lambda this is 0 0.098 somewhere here this value is 0.98 means here this 0.25 and that value is nothing but the, the length of the stub number one now here we have got the stub number one now we are planning for the stub number uh, two in this case we have to take in this case we have to take we have to take the center of this circle as an origin or center of the smith chart and by using the compass if we are drawing one circle that is the s circle for this load in that case we are able to shift this point on this second circle uh, on this uh, r is equal to one circle and we are able to find out its value uh, this is uh, the circle now here the two solutions may be possible here one is at this point because here is r is equal to one and other is at this uh, as we have seen in case of this single single stub matching but i will uh, go for only the solution number one which is this here if we are reading out its coordinate its values are coming to be one plus j 1.2 is the value of uh, uh, the susceptance uh, at uh, that particular point um, and then to cancel out this value to cancel out this value we have to connect the stub of the opposite value and uh, the stub number two will be of minus j 1.2 here it is uh, uh, 1.2 this is 1.2 minus it is on the downside that's why this is short circuited point again in the clockwise direction whatever this distance will be there that is uh, uh, or that is nothing but the length of the stub number two that is the length of the stub number two and here if we are reading out its coordinates uh, its value is coming to be uh, uh, that is 0 0.11 lambda this in this case uh, the length of the stub number two is 0 0.11 lambda and uh, length of the stub number uh, sorry 2 is 0 0.11 lambda and length of the stub number 1 is 0.34 lambda this is the solution for uh, this particular example now here I will show another example in which uh, the distance between the two stubs is again different value now here in this case again this is the second example here we will try to understand here lossless transmission line the characteristic impedance is given the spacing between the two stubs is lambda by 8 here the spacing is given as lambda by 8 this r naught of this stub is the same as a line load impedance has this value now again we have to normalize this load impedance and then we have to convert the load impedance to the admittance and so on and then remaining calculations are the same as the previous calculations here we have to work out for the two circles initially that is first is r is equal to one circle and the second is the circle for the stub number one this r is equal to one circle is always for the stub number two and the distance between the two stubs in this particular case is given as it is lambda by eight that is lambda by eight now here in this case again we have to travel uh, here again i will go here 
the reference is this stub number 2 the reference is this stub number 2 to find out this distance which is lambda by 8 here we have to this is the location of the stub number 1 we have to travel towards the load we have to travel towards the load is from this particular point we will travel the distance of lambda by h and uh, we will draw one line here and we will draw the circle here and that circle is nothing but on which uh, the stub number uh, one is going to uh, we are going to locate means here this distance is lambda by eight lambda by eight is the distance between the two stubs here this is again circle now here we are plotting we are plotting that is 1 plus j1 is the given value of the uh, load impedance uh, we will convert this load impedance to its admittance its admittance is 0.5 minus j 0.5 now here what is the next step in this case uh, in this particular case what we will do we will transfer this particular point on this circle that is r is equal to uh, this step number one or uh, this circle on which we are going to locate the step number one now here and we will read out its coordinate its coordinates are 0.5 minus j 0.11 and here as i discussed in the previous example distance uh, difference between the two susceptance will be the net susceptance of this step which is uh, nothing but the step number one here in this case the susceptance uh, uh, of the line after inserting the stub number 1 is 0.11 that's why the difference is uh, that is uh, this 0.11 that is minus j and uh, minus this uh, initial value which is nothing but 0 0.61 0 0.61 is uh, the length uh, or susceptance of the stub 1 we have uh, that much susceptance uh, we have to connect the stub of the opposite value which is minus j 0.61 minus j 0.61 which is uh, uh, sorry <coughs> now we have to connect the stuff which is the minus uh, something and uh, here uh, this will be uh, sorry we need the uh, stub of the plus 0.61 here uh, sorry for the correction this is a uh, 0.61 which is the plus value that's why uh, this will be the uh, length of the stub number one and here if I am going for that calculation the length of this stub number 1 will be that is 0.337 lambda and uh, similarly we will take the center here as a center of this smith chart and uh, we will draw the circle here something like this and we will shift this point here somewhere and uh, then we will read out its coordinate its coordinates are 1 plus j 0.7 and to cancel out that 0.7 value we have to connect the stub of the opposite that is minus j 0.7 and here this will be uh, the length of the short circuited stub which is the stub number 2 which is 0 0.152 lambda this here final solution will be something like this here is the uh, length of the stub number 1 and this will be the length of the stub number 2 uh, this is uh,